What's the saying? You don't uh, realize how far you've come until you've taken a moment to reflect and look back. Well, in, in my instance, you don't realize how bad you were until you actually look. And then you realize, I can't believe I didn't see it then. Prepare to cringe. Today we're going to look at some of my old b-boy power move progression. Flares, air flares, windmills, top rock, footwork. But you gotta focus. So after practicing about two hours a day, six days a week, for a whole year this is what I came up with. Whole lot of head spinning. So much head spinning I burnt my hair off right in the middle of my head. Bald spot. Luckily it grew back because uh, you know I kind of took a break from it. So this is 2008, one year into b-boying, uh, basically power moves. I have windmills, head spins, and I even started to learn flares, but you can tell my feet never left the ground, so it doesn't count. Look at how old this footage is, iPod still has a headphone jack. It's training with my friends. We both suck. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. All right, yo, check this out, this elbow spin thing. That's actually pretty sweet. I don't think I could do that now. But yeah, two hours a day trying to get that, you know, you'll get it. Oh my gosh, look at that resolution. Yeah, that's how old this is. Let's blow that up. All right, so this is flare practice, 2008. Okay, no, no one better be, get out of my way, get out of my way. You, you sit right there. Yeah, just oh, get it, come on. Uh. Zero. Gumpy. Man. Okay, so here's 2011. Uh, basically, it took me forever to get my feet off the ground. Oh, get off my court, dog. I was so tough. Look at that sweater. All right, but for real, I think these are pretty good flares here. You see that setup? <laughs> Dang, all right. Set up aside, those flares were pretty nice, all right, even by today's standards. To get the feet off the ground, it was all about the kick. You gotta kick hard and hold yourself down hard. Took me four years to figure that out, but it made a huge difference in the height of my flares. All right, diving back to my first air flare attempts. This is crazy, March 2009. Now you guys can watch this whole video, but yeah, you can see I had the technique totally wrong in 2009. Took a couple months to fix that. My leg wasn't swooping up and under to give me lift, but by about May, June 2009, I started to figure that out. So I had to change my technique up, and that started to help me get to that second one. Eventually, I started to get that second one, and then I just kept working from there. Had some problems along the way, long story. Um, I got even lazy at one time, and I just kind of didn't train and was stuck on two for a couple of months. Came back the next year and uh, wrist tendonitis, had to take a couple weeks off, powered through. But all in all, about a year later, I had air flares locked down. It's the grind, folks, the grind, even when you're Gumpy Luke. Gumpy Luke grind it, I'm telling you. Yo, I know what you guys are thinking. Is this guy just a sportsman? All he does is power moves? Does he even train the fundamentals, top rocker footwork? Well, I'll have you know, I was working on my top rock and footwork. Here we go, baby. So come on, Luke, show him what's up. Show him your moves, man. So prepare, prepare to be annihilated. I can see why I've lost every battle I've ever battled in, all three of them, and rightfully so, too. I mean, really, at the time I was thinking like, dude, I was top rocking so good, I can't believe we lost, you know, it was your fault, man. But yeah, like seriously, those flares don't even count after that crap. Whoa. Alright, anyways, here's something cool. Working on my first air flare 1.5. So those are those air flare... Uh, where you drop down like that, yeah. I don't know if I'm showing it here, but I'm in a lot of pain. Yep. <laughs> if you land wrong, it goes wrong, let me tell you. So, 
practicing on these cheerleading mats. Lucky I didn't get ringworm. Don't think I was allowed to use these, but whatever. Oh, now here we are. I think this is a year later. Um. Oh man, get get it. Oh. oh. That hurt. Oh, while we're here. Oh. Oh. If you guys saw that last video, you can tell by that front flip. This must be 2011. Right. Oh, there we go. It's 2012. End of 2012. Cleaned up the 1.5s. Was even able to do that little spice, little spaz cannonball 1.5. I was really proud of that. Also, by 2012, for those of you who care, finally I got a clean flare to air flare without the foot touching the ground. So I was really trying to lock those in. Those are still hard for me now. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. All right, moving on. All right, so fun fact, for those of you who don't know, um, this is me in late spring 2011. Yeah, still using the potato cam. I varied between both of those, but I'm actually learning halos for the first time. And at this time, I already had air flares, flares, head spins, windmills. I just never learned halos. This is a huge reason why I'm, I don't always say you need prerequisites. Um, I believe prerequisites definitely help you with learning new moves, but you don't need them. You can just skip to the big stuff if you want. It might be a little harder like it was in my case, but then again, it has its benefits because when I went back and tried to learn halos, which should have been a prerequisite for the air flare, I ended up getting them in like a month. Whoa, what was all that fuss about? What am I saying? Trees on my feet. Trees on my feet. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, he's done. Yeah, don't even. Get my dad to help me. Good, thanks. Help right. me film. Okay. That's it. <laughs> it's not impressed. It's so funny. Oh, seriously though, my dad's my dad's awesome. He's really nice. We should film more videos with him. We should go to Best Buy and haggle the haggle the Geek Squad. That'd be funny. Anyways, let's see some miscellaneous stuff now. Oh, what? Oh, dang. Okay, all the gump aside, this is actually a cool concept, man. I'm gonna take another swing at this. Crap! Now someone's gonna steal this. 360 kip up. I'm trying to do here. So. I've actually never seen this before. I've seen a 360 like dive into a kip up, but never a 360 out of a kip up. I was actually pretty close. I'm pretty disappointed that I quit right there. Um, dang. Well, yeah, I, I totally forgot about this. So maybe, maybe I'll try to learn that this week, and uh, maybe we'll be the first to invent this new move. You know what? By now, it's probably already done before. So if you guys know a link of someone who already did this, uh, just show it to me. Heck, you know what? If you can do it, go ahead. You know, I don't care if you copy me. It's all about sharing, okay? So, if you can do it, props to you. Please do it. Just do it, okay? I'm not going to be all like, You bit my move, how dare you? No. No, I'm going to be happy for you, alright? I'm going to try to get it. Maybe I'll put that in a vlog, if I can do it. Alright, so while we're at these creative concepts, let's look at some more. My air flare to cork. So... <laughs> Air flare to cork without a hop or a pause, like right when you put your foot down, that's the position you need to take off in. So this was in 2012, and same with that 360 kip up attempt, 2012. It's like my creative concept here. I thought I was going places. Man, I need to get more creative now. Really. Look at this. Oh man, that was as, that was as close as, I, as I've ever come to landing it right there. Um, never did it without putting my hands down. Gotta give that another swing too. Man, we got stuff to work on now. All right, back to being serious here, guys. 2013. So 2013, working on my tops. Fun fact, I actually entered a top rock battle this year. Didn't even make it past prelims. I thought they messed up. Obviously, they did not. So then I got a full-time job, got fired, got rebellious, grew my hair out. Here we are again. This time, forget the tops. We're listening to Jet. Yeah, my Jet faces. Just pure power. Whoa, crap. 
Man, nothing but one-handed air flare attempts for months, and unfortunately I never got this move. Maybe something we should have a look at again, but honestly a lot of hard falls. This is all back when I used to make my own music too. My own music for these videos, man. God, we were into it, thought we were making hits. Yes, so uh, anyways, speaking of making your own music and one-handed air flares, back to the one-handed air flares story. Never got it, but I actually started it some time ago in about 2012 or when all these clips are from right here to this dramatic homemade background music. But yeah, I almost broke my arm like multiple times. Um, luckily it didn't happen, but unfortunately I never got the one-handed air flare. 2013 I drilled this move like no other and I still didn't get it so maybe something I should look at again oh, oh yeah now it's turning into a dance beat Beat has an identity crisis, just like I'm having in this clip right here. What the heck is that? 2013, man. Gotta love it. Worst year ever. Alright. <laughs> oh, look it, I'm going. I'm, I'm ripping. Yeah, oh! Don't know what that is. It's footwork. Just getting stylish. It's style. All right, and here, um, I think I was sick and tired of training just one-handed air flares. So I was working on some of my classic stuff, classic combos, 2013. All right, enough with these crap homemade beats. I'm sorry. All right, those are all homemade, those last three. Ugh. Oh, yeah, look at this. And here we are, coming into today. Training with Joey. The naughty reindeer. Look at those flares, those are looking pretty good. So this is actually end of 2013 right here. Um, naughty reindeer, that's our B-boy crew name. So if you wanna mess with the reindeer that are naughty, what you see before your eyes, the two you gotta mess with. All right, suit up squad, we're training for the battle. Meanwhile, looking like a mix between Tom Cruise and Dora the Explorer. In this clip, I am actually working on my top rock because I have a battle coming up in like two days. So this is in 2013. So it wasn't until 2013 I really started to work on my top rock and my footwork. Not like I didn't do it before, but I didn't care. But 2013 I was like, you know what, this is the year I'm going to become a well-rounded b-boy. You know? Also notice my sick b-boy shoes. Pretty sure those are like used ASICs from Payless clearance section. I guess I thought that was a good set. <laughs> Alright guys, time has come. That's what you've been training for. It's battle time. Let's get it. Check this out. See, I've been to a battle. Where'd it go wrong? I think right there is where it started to go wrong. And the fact that you're not doing anything you're good at, i.e. power moves, what are you doing? See, I think what I was thinking is, uh, you know, I just want to get groovy this year. You know, I want to start, you know, getting musical. You know what I mean? I'm starting to get that musicality. And, uh, you know, I did way more top rock and footwork, and it was still like absolute toilet poo water. And, uh, throw a few power moves, crash the freeze. Man, if I would have just thrown power moves down, we might have made it past prelims. You know what I mean? But thanks to me, all that training, all that time gets flushed down the toilet because I want to be 
musical. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm saying for me, I should have just just let my friends do it, all right? That's why you have a crew. Okay, not only am I the super most cringeworthy, cringeworthy McCringe, but uh, I'm also super annoying. <laughs> My poor friend's just trying to train in peace. I pull out the camera and start yelling at him. Why? Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was entertaining and I hope it was encouraging some way or another. Um, remember, stay humble and um, don't forget to just uh, look at the big picture sometimes and realize that, uh, you know, Sorry, I couldn't come up with anything more uh, you know, intense than that. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out this week. Peace. You all have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next video.